بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Indeed, the praise is for Allah. We praise Him, we seek His help, and we seek His forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah from the evils that are within ourselves and from our bad deeds. Whomsoever Allah guides, no one can lead this person astray. And whomsoever Allah leads astray, then there is no guide for him. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except for Allah who was alone with our partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the servant of Allah and his last messenger to all of mankind. O oh, you who believe, fear Allah with the right that he should be feared with. And do not die in you are Muslims in the state of Islam. O oh, mankind, fear your Lord who has created you from a single person, and from this person created his mate, and from them to scatter countless men and women throughout the earth. And fear Allah from who you demand your mutual rights, and do not cut off the relations with the wombs that have bore you. Indeed, Allah is a watcher over you. O oh, you who believe, fear Allah, and say that which is correct and upright, in order that Allah may rectify for you your deeds and forgive you of your sins. And whomsoever obeys Allah and His Messenger has achieved a tremendous achievement. As to what follows, certainly the most truthful speech is the Book of Allah. And the best guidance is the guidance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the most evil of the affairs are the newly invented matters in the religion. And every newly invented matter in the religion is innovation. And every innovation is going astray, and every going astray is in the hellfire. This is the last Jumu'ah of the blessed month of Ramadan. What have we learned? What have we gained? What progress did we make? in this blessed month of Ramadan up until now? What efforts have we put forward to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Have we received the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month so far? These are questions that we should ask ourselves. And these are matters that we should be concerned with. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned in an authentic narration, Inna Jibreel atani, 
فقال من أدرك شهر رمضان ولم يغفر له فدخل النار فأبعده الله قل آمين فقلت آمين The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he mentioned Jibreel came to me and he said whoever reaches the month of Ramadan and he's not forgiven for his sins and he enters into the hellfire may Allah cast him away say Ameen I mean, say so be it. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Ameen. The, the month of Ramadan is the month of forgiveness. The entire month of Ramadan. As for the narration, the first part of Ramadan is a mercy. The second part of Ramadan is forgiveness. And then the third part of Ramadan is freedom from the hellfire. This hadith is munkar. Very weak. It's not to be used. Rather, the entire Ramadan is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The entire Ramadan is forgiveness. The entire Ramadan is freedom from the hellfire. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned, وَلِلَّهِ مِنَ النَّارِ That Allah has those whom he frees from the hellfire. وَذَلِكَ قُلُ اللَّيْلَ فِي رَمَضَانِ And that's every night in Ramadan. So this entire month is a month of mercy. The entire month is a month of forgiveness. The entire month is a month where the person has the opportunity to be freed from the hellfire. What have we attained from these affairs? The Prophet ﷺ said in showing that the month of Ramadan is the month of mercy. Man sama Ramadan iman and wahtisaban. Whoever fasts Ramadan out of faith and seeking the reward, he is forgiven for his past sins. The forgiveness is attained through having Iman and seeking Allah's reward. These two matters are key when it comes to attaining the forgiveness of Allah and the mercy of Allah and being free from the hellfire, that we have to be people who have true faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe in the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe in His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and whatever is connected to that. And with our deeds of goodness, we seek the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is how the forgiveness is attained and the mercy is attained and being free from the hellfire is attained through Iman, through faith and seeking the reward. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned Man qama Ramadan Iman and Iman and Three narrations Whoever fasts Ramadan out of faith in seeking the reward, he's forgiven for his sins that have passed. Whoever prays in the night in the month of Ramadan, out of faith in seeking the reward, he is forgiven for his past sins. Whoever stands Layla to Qadr, out of faith in seeking the reward, he is forgiven for his past sins. Alhamdulillah, there's still some nights left from Ramadan. Even though last night, was an odd night and last night was the night of Jumu'ah and the scholars have said that which they said when an odd night falls on the night of Jumu'ah that more than likely is Laylatul Qadr but that shouldn't stop a person from seeking Laylatul Qadr in the remaining nights continue upon the path of good continue upon your faith continue upon seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Faith doesn't stop and end with one night. Seeking the reward of Allah doesn't stop and end with one night. This is a lifetime affair of having faith and seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, 
showing the dangers of not capitalizing off of this blessed month of Ramadan. رَغِمَ أَنْفْ رَجُلٍ دَخَلَ عَلَيْهِ رَمَضَانٍ ثُمَّ سَلَخَ قَبْلَ أَنْ يُغْفَرْ لَهُ Humiliated is the individual who Ramadan enters upon him and then leaves before he is forgiven for his sins. This person is humiliated. This person has lost out spite his nose. Why? Because he didn't take advantage of the opportunity. There are still some days left in this blessed month. Make the best of that which remains. Strive harder in these last few days that remain. Perhaps this is our last Ramadan. Perhaps we will never see another Ramadan again in life. Perhaps. So make the best of what you have. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us our deeds in this best month. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi yajma'een amma ba'd Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Innama al-a'mal bil khawati Indeed, actions are based upon how they end. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he made this statement after he had said that a man who participated in battle and was fighting fiercely, that he is from the people of the hellfire. And some of the Sahaba, they were amazed that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that this man would be from the people of the hellfire even though he was putting forth great effort. So one of the companions followed him in the battle. And the man became wounded and then he committed suicide, he killed himself. And the companion came back to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, I bear witness that you are the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him, what makes you say this? And he said, you said to us that whoever wants to see a man from the man of the hellfire or the people of the hellfire, let him look at this man. And this was a man who was putting forth great efforts. So I followed him. And he became wounded and he didn't have patience upon his wounds and he killed himself. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went on to mention that a person could be one who does the actions of the people of paradise, but in the end he is from the people of the hellfire. Or that a person can be doing the actions of the people of the hellfire, but then in the end he is from the people of the paradise. إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالِ بِالْخَوَاتِيمِ Indeed, actions are based upon how they end. So perhaps, we didn't have a good Ramadan this year. And we struggled this year in Ramadan. طيب, do good with that which remains. In Ramadan in a strong manner. And for those who started off Ramadan strong, then end stronger. This is not the time to become weak and slack off. Do you know that the race horses, when they get towards the end of the goal, they speed up, they lock in and they speed up. Don't let the horses be more intelligent with you than you when it comes to reaching the finish line. Increase in your acts of goodness. 
And this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he did in the last 10. As Aisha radiallahu anha, she mentioned, كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا دَخَلَ الْعَشْرِ شَدَّ مِعْزَارَهُ وَأَحْيَ لَيْلَهُ وَأَيْقَضَ أَهْلَهُ That when the last ten entered, the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم used to tighten up his izah. He used to spend his nights in worship and he would wake up his family to worship Allah. So don't despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَصْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say, O my servants who have wronged themselves. That's all of us. Every last one of us have, have done some type of wrong. Every last one of us we have sinned. We have done wrong to ourselves by way of our sins. So this verse is applicable to all of us. Do not despair from the mercy of Allah. Indeed Allah forgives all sins. And indeed He is all forgiving and most merciful. Remember this verse in these last days of Ramadan. Don't despair from the mercy of Allah. Don't give up. Even if the people are saying Laylatul Qadr was last night and you feel you may have missed it, don't give up. Continue to look for Laylatul Qadr. Continue to do good. And this is why the scholars, they say, it's recommended that if you've seen Laylatul Qadr, don't tell nobody. Because you may put the person in a state of despair. And having despair from the mercy of Allah, this is from the characteristics of those who disbelieve. And the characteristics of those who are astray. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنَّهُ لَا, إنه لا يَيْأَسْ مِنْ رُوحِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْكَافِرُونَ Indeed, no one despairs from the mercy of Allah except for the disbelieving people. وَقَالَ اللَّهَ عَزَ وَجَلْ وَمَنْ يَقْنَتْ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ رَبِّهِ إِلَّا الضَّالُّونَ and who was the one who despairs from the mercy of his Lord except for those who are straight? Despairing from Allah's mercy is not a good characteristic. So don't be one who puts the people into a state of despair. What happened with the man who killed 99 people when the monk told him there is no forgiveness for him? What happened to him? He killed the monk. Putting someone in a state of despair pushes them to do evil. It pushes them to give up. It pushes them to have the feeling that Allah is not going to forgive them. Don't make a person despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah forgives all sins. Allah's mercy is vast. Encourage the people with good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions, وَلَا تُلْكُ بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَا تَهْلُكَ Don't let your hands be the cause of your destruction. Some of the scholars of Tafsir, they say, this is a person who commits a sin. And the shaitan comes to the person and tells the person that Allah is not going to forgive him. So he continues upon the path of sin. Therefore, he destroys himself. Don't destroy yourselves. Don't give up from the mercy of Allah. Yes, it's important that we do not forget that Allah is Shadidul Iqar. Very important. We don't just depend on the mercy, but we also remember Allah's severe in punishment. We have to fear Allah. But never should we get to the point where we believe that Allah is not going to forgive us if we turn to Him in repentance. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned Tuba liman wajada fi suhifatihi istighfaram kathira Glad tidings of a tree in paradise for the one who finds in his record abundant istighfar. Constantly seek Allah's forgiveness. Don't stop seeking Allah's forgiveness until you die. Until that day comes 
always seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Ramadan, outside of Ramadan, Laylatul Qadr, the other nights of the year, always seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for you as a tree in paradise called Tuba. And what greater blessing is to be in the paradise enjoying the rewards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from amongst those who hear a good word and follow it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us in this blessed month of Ramadan and to accept our deeds. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to reach Laylatul Qadr. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from amongst those who are free from the hellfire in this month. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who receive his mercy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who fast and pray upon Iman and seeking his reward. Aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa subhanaka allahumma bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubi. Akkad misalah.